Carol. Hey, how are you? Good, honey. How are you? Good. What's going on? What's going on? I'm making tacos for the boys. That's what's going on. I love tacos. Well, where are you? Come, come eat. I'm in Port St. Lucie. I, I got oh, oh. Uh, about a half hour by airplane. Yeah. Well, that's a long ride. Your your nephew Ben was talking to me today about how he gets to celebrate his birthday every year in a different place. But that's because he had a summer birthday. So last year it was Boston. This year it's going to be Philadelphia. So he said, "But does that mean I if Uncle Oh, is Uncle Charlie coming?" I said, "Honey, he can't. He has to work. He can't come to Philadelphia." So he says, "Well, can we make a party that Uncle Charlie can come to that's not in Philadelphia?" I said, "Yeah." So you might have to do something. It's him because he wants to know why Uncle Charlie couldn't come to Philadelphia to his birthday. Uh, that's, that's such a good point. Thank you, sweetie. So I said, you know what? You and Uncle Charlie will be something special before we go. So that's before you leave for um, for Spain. Yes. Yes. Before what what day do I leave? The third. August August third. Okay. And we're leaving on his birthday to go up to Pennsylvania. So maybe the week before he, we go away, maybe enter in that week that you can do something with him on the weekend or something on a Sunday. Okay. That's awesome. So you going up to Philly? Going up to Philly on the 29th on his birthday. I'll make him a little party there part of the weekend. Um, Liz has already made sure that um, Paul is going to come in from New York and with his baby. So that'll be really cool to see him. And, um, and Karen and Brian, so that he'll, so that then we'll have a little party there. Yeah. So that'll be nice. Ah, that's a very nice. Well, Wendy's coming up. We're flying up Friday with Wendy, and she'll stay with us till Monday. She has to go back on Monday, so she'll be there for um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday I think, to the evening. She'll fly back, and then we'll be up there till the following Saturday. Are you going to stay in Philadelphia the whole time? Or? Yeah, most yeah. likely. I mean, at some point, I will let Robert know that we're going up there, but I don't know whether we'll see him or not. So we'll see. We'll play that by ear, but probably I'll stay in Philadelphia. Give him the opportunity to, to drive a few hours and see us, which he won't do. Right. So that's, that's going to be my offer, you know? Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. I, listen, they, they come to Naples and they come to Orlando. Right, and, and they get off at the Fort Lauderdale Airport and don't say, can you meet us up in this area before we drive to Naples? Which you know I would do. Uh, I, I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't fly into Fort into Naples. They fly into Fort Lauderdale. Ooh. Yeah. How'd you like that? When I first spoke to them one time, and he said, oh, yeah, we just got into the car and we're headed out to Naples. He said, well, where are you? He said, Fort Lauderdale. I said, why didn't you tell me? I would have come and met you up in Fort Lauderdale, and we can have lunch there before you drive out to Naples. Oh, I didn't think about it. No, you don't think about anything to do with anybody except yourself. So, of course, you don't think about it. It's not that he didn't think about it. Isn't that nice? I'll, I'll give you a newsflash. Oh, I don't need a newsflash, believe me. It's not that they didn't think about it. Yeah. Is that they didn't want to do it. Yeah, because that would, it's better that that week that they went out there, we went out twice. Plus, you get two and a half hours each direction the same day. So we did that twice that week, once with Wendy and Dave came with us, and once by ourselves. So you spent so, six hours in the car. Yeah, so that we could see them rather than say, yeah, we're going to be in Fort Lauderdale. Let's take an hour and have lunch with you guys before we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, on well, what at, doesn't at, suggest. I know, but at, at least at least you're getting a little bit smarter. Oh, I've years. gotten a lot smarter. I've gotten a lot smarter. It took me a long time, but I got a lot smarter. You, you, ca you caught on at the very end. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, 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 it's funny. I didn't even think of that until you just said that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not that they didn't realize, like, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, very close. Mm -hmm. or, they just, well, well, how about when they went to Disney? They don't think of even telling us that I got it out of him when he said he was packing. I said, packing? Where are you going? Mm-hmm. Packing. packing to Orlando? 
when I said, well, why didn't you tell me? We would come up and see you. Oh, well, it was a last-minute thing. What is that? Last minute? What is the last minute? First of all, I, I never met anyone who, like, last minute doesn't mean, like, 10 minutes. Last minute's, like, 10 minutes ago. Like, oh, we decided to go to the beach today. Yeah, they, decided, they decided during the week to do to take the kids. It was a, a meeting for him, but then they decided to go for the week. Okay, that's great. So say, hey, I know it's really far, but you guys consider driving us to Orlando. Yeah, know we would have fly, well, when they fly in and land 17 miles from you. Yeah. That's and I'm not even telling them to drive down here. I'm just saying, why don't you let me know? I'd come up, oh, yeah, no, we're going straight out to you in the Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I didn't do everything possible for you growing up, right? I was a really inattentive parent. Please, don't even get me going. Yeah, no, 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 I know. Well, at least you, hey, at least you're getting a little bit smarter. Yeah. Actually, you've gotten a lot smarter. I can okay. correct myself. No, yeah, but, but you know what the thing is? You set the bar so low now that you don't get Oh, I have zero expectations. I am not disappointed in anything. Nothing. No. Dad, Dad takes it a lot harder than I do, but I'm well, not disappointed in anything. Well, if, there, if there's any take-home message from it, you need to have more than one kid. <laughs> you no, know, I'm serious. I mean, like, I, I hate to say it, but like, for multiple reasons, you, you need to have more than one kid because you don't yeah. know. I mean, you don't know. I mean, you can end up with some kid that everything's great, and then he's like a paranoid schizophrenic, and thinks you're the devil, and then you're like, all right, now I got no kids. That's great. You know, okay. I mean, it's all I'm kinds just, of crazy. You know, my yeah, I mean, you say that, and my 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 friend uh, Danielle. Uh, Grew up with and went to school every day with her telling her down. Saw her, her brother's son. He had her brother's a dentist. He has three three children, three boys. The youngest one now is just graduating from dental school and um, getting married. And the other one, that's got the other one's up to. And the, and the oldest one became a Harry Krishna, moved out to California and doesn't want to acknowledge his family. Out of the, out of the effing blue. I mean, yeah. like Danny said, sometimes I'm glad that I never had children. She says, because when you, you see my brother and how heartbroken he is, <laughs> no contact with uh, nothing. Nothing. I don't even know who Harry Krishna is. Oh, um, you know the guys in the white robes that beg at the airport? They Get out of here. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Sit there and they're like. Nobody argues it with them. Well, well, what makes him a, what makes him a dork? Because he's. Like to study, and he wants to like Bell. I don't. Nobody's. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Let Let Lance enjoy him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'll, it'll It'll come up. To, one day he'll figure it out. It took me a long time, so it'll take him. Lance, Lance time. Will, no, 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 Lance, 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 Lance will. It. Lance will realize. You know, that baffles me because it really it does doesn't take me. It doesn't take long in talking to him to realize the guy's off. Like, no, you don't. I have to tell you, I've seen him when we've gone out to dinner. We've gone out to dinner at least three or four times with Lance. And, you know, Dad, of course, picks up the, picks up the check and everyone's, oh, no, no, no. And um, and so we've done that several times. And he is charming with Lance. I mean, if you see him, you'd go, well, great guy. He's really sweet and friendly and smart and fun. Uh -huh. You would not know. You wouldn't. He would not get it at all. Because when, when I sat at his, at, at Dad's party. Oh, I know. Part, when we were downstairs eating outside. Yeah. Like, I hadn't seen him in like two, three years. And I made that bet with Wendy. How many things I can ask him about himself before he so gets you finally get your and said, stop already? Mom, I was at 34. Yeah, I'm sure. And I got 34 one-word answers. Like, dude, I haven't seen you in like years. I mean, that's the only, that's actually in the last five years, the only contact I've had with you. Yeah. So you think, yeah, and I remember walking in the continuum with a black guy that's sitting there who goes, hey, Charlie, how's your day? I'm like, I'm like, that's a better draining than my brother that I've spoken to in two or three years. Well, I'll figure, you know. And Honestly, you know, there's something wrong. I don't know what it is. I'm not a psychiatrist. I can't no, but it's, a yeah, no, but it's definitely. Wrong. But he could turn it on and off. Like, it's not like, yeah, and that's why I say to hard, I say to dad, I, I don't predict anything, but I have this feeling that one day he's going to get the front of it before he gave it to us. If he can turn off feeling like that, oh, boy, there's something wrong with him. Yeah, it's it's not, uh, 
Yeah. I mean, it's it's odd. You know, it's almost like once the kids leave the house, yeah, it'll be fine as long as the kids are there because that's a hundred percent of his attention. Right. One, one day, the, one day in fifteen years, when the kids leave the house, it'll be. Uh, and you know I, what? I, I think she knows because I've been on the phone a couple of times with him, and I only knew one of the person who took them was a little off, and she did to quote cover for him, um, George, dad. He was off and same kind of way. He was just kind of strange. And his wife knew it. And you could see when you have a conversation with them, like she would do the answering, she would kind of cover. When I'm on the phone with them, with the kids to do a, a Skyping, we think Julie was like our best friend. Or we could get one, oh, hey, how's everything going? And Robert doesn't talk to us. Robert talk, he's right there. He doesn't say, Hey mom, how you doing? And yet, a couple of times, Dad has called on the phone, like on his way home from work, to try to get him. And it's, oh, hey, Dad. I mean, she goes from one extreme to the other. Well, if you were mad at me, you'd say, look, Mom, I'm angry at this. I'd like to talk this over yeah. with you. Let's straighten this out. You don't just. <laughs> anyway, really so how long does it take you to get back from there? Sorry about that. Huh? It is what it is. Sorry. Yeah. If that's ready, your tacos are ready. At least, at least you got two kids. You got a whole two kids and two grandkids. Yep, and, uh, me too. Me too. So definitely, like, you know, somewhere in in the end of, end of June, even if it's before his birthday, because these poor children will be on a cruise. I know. What, 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 what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to set, I'm going to talk to my niece. I'll, I'll talk to you this week. I don't want to set it up with Dave, but maybe we'll take all the first. Oh my god, that would be so nice. You know, this part of the team, the keys and everything. You don't have to go that far. Well, if we do the keys, it could be more of a kid in the settings where we're all like on the boat. But that's how I send you and dad out that time. Honey? Charlie? My Lucy? I don't think I lost you. Can you hear me? No. No. There you are. Okay. Uh, it was just because of long, like, a stretch between Jupiter and Fort St. Lucie. Oh. Um, but, you know, if we do the key, it would be more like an intimate setting, like when I sent you and Dad out on the boat that time. Right. Or what we could do is, like, add a like, you know how they have the deep sea fishing charters that are, like, $29 a person? And you go yeah. Deep sea fishing, you know, drop, you know, you just drop anchor and like, do that. That's the other choice. Well, yeah, I'll talk to Wendy and see, you know, see what she thinks. So, if I do it that way, I could bring Lincoln. That's right. So, do you want to do it where Ben and Lincoln come, and then me and Dad, that way the two of us could watch the two boys? Yeah, that would be better. And then Dave could bring his kids, and like... Yeah, that would be fun. That really would. All right, then I'm going to talk to Dave and see if... And then also, too, that'll be like Wendy seeing like the whole family suit stuff guys all doing stuff and like yeah that would be nice maybe it'll like but i think she's kind of dating dave now i wouldn't know she doesn't tell me anything no. as you know i know absolutely it, the only thing right over here is what i hear from you otherwise nothing nothing so well let me uh let me talk okay. to wendy first okay. no i'm on a, i'm on a long stretch of road but let me i could talk to wendy first yeah, I'll talk to her first. And then get a feel for which one, and then if she's fine with me at uh, Ben and Lincoln, and then open it up to Dave and his three boys. Yeah. You know, literally, like, I'll set it up where all of us will go. That sounds great. And I think it'd be pretty cool to do something, something like that. Oh, I guess so, too. I think so, too. So. All right. Let me feed them. i got to make their tacos for them. So that's that's dad, dad done for the week. Dad will be done for the week, yes. Tonight. Awesome. That will be it. Yeah. I'll do it to Clint tomorrow. He's going to show us a couple of places. And, and then we'll go on from there. I don't are know you, if there's, you know. Are, are you looking at anything new in the continuum? or No. No, that's really. We saw what there is at the continuum. And the only and the only availability would be places that have um, the problem with the, what do you call it? Have rotating yeah. beds. Yeah. Yeah, with that one. That one would be an interesting one. That one actually, by August, there won't be anything blocking it. 
but yeah, which which is perfect. Which is perfect. But it's just it's not a big enough apartment. I don't want to go get something that's that tiny. I just wouldn't be. Yeah, I want no, to go no, bigger. No, but it was yeah. it was cute. It was fun. But so. you know what? Like the nice thing too is if you want your place, you still have it. That's right. That's right. So you, well, the, I got an way. email. I got an email today from uh, this young guy who has um, got a mini schnauzer and who just had a baby about three months ago. And he said, "I just just today sent that I just heard from my um, contractor, and it looks like I'm going to get into the house early July rather than later. So it looks like the August first may be a possibility. Are you guys you guys still have any potential interest?" So I'll wait until Dad comes home and we'll talk about it. Yeah, sure. if you want to give it to me for sixty-five. One to take the less than this. It's the same apartment, but a little more modern. It open. It, the kitchen's not closed off. It opens straight in. It's a little. You know, we've made a couple of nice changes. One said, "No, no, no. Shut it off. Your tacos are right here. I'm going to help you put it together." Which, what did you want apartment. for? Uh, that's what I want to find out. He should want less because he's not going to use a realtor if he gets off. Oh, you know, you just happen to meet him through the building. Yeah, we know him. A young guy, we know him at the gym. He's been really Jewish guy, uh, Mark. Really nice guy, and his wife just had the baby, and their house is being built. He just gave her a right what, to dinner. What Sit floor is it on? Floor. I don't remember. I think he's either two above or two below. I forgot. But one, oh, oh, wait a minute. He's upstairs. He's right above us. Twenty-seven or four. Okay. And yeah. you guys wouldn't mind moving all your stuff and everything? You know, I don't have, I just need a mover to move the bed and the piano. The rest of the stuff, that's it. The rest is not lying. And then we have to find out if he's, I think he was going to leave his furniture, which was nicer than this. Okay. Guys, ah, uh-uh. ah, boys, you're getting it ready, but come sit at the table. Then come sit, babe. All right. Let me go. I've got my hands off. <laughs> should what you ask? I think he wants it around seven, but you know, with all the construction, he should ask Mom, less. Mom, he's going to get, he has yet to get the age of one month's rent. Right. So that's $7,000 that he wouldn't have to come yeah, up with. So yeah. Actually, yeah. One month's rent. Yes. Yeah. $7,000. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'd like that's him to. That's why I can get you $400 a day. Right. So you're offering him more money. No, I want to offer him less money. I'm paying 68 here. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go less. I'm saying if you rented it for a year. Oh right. Do I keep getting you? Right. Oh, Charlie, and I'm going to save some for your brother. Charlie, I'm losing you. I don't know if you're hearing me, but I no longer hear you. Know. And uh, and we're uh, there you go. You're back. I miss. I miss what you said. Yeah, what, okay, what I was saying to him okay. is the agent takes one month's rent. Right. So let's cut out the agent, mm-hmm. and we'll do it. We'll get forms. And so, what do you think I should offer? What whatever the agent would take one month rent, right? Yeah. So let's give it this: take seven times twelve uh-huh. is eighty-four. Uh-huh. Eighty-four minus seven is seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Divided by 12. Oh, okay. And say you're basically giving them his asking price. Just cut out the agent fees that you're not going to get anyway. Right. Like, and I'm not going to beat you up on the fact that the pool is going to be demolished. Right. Well, okay. so he's getting his asking price, which is basically 6500 is what he's exactly. going to get. So he'll get exactly, and he won't have to show it to people, and he won't have to wonder what if it doesn't rent. So I, yeah. I want to go. I want to basically whoever seventy-seven divided by twelve is seventy-seven. Okay. All right. Let me so let me think. I think that's super fair. They're not beating them up at all. Yeah. Okay. Let me talk to you later. I'm having trying to control these boys. All right. Sounds good. I, I love you. Drive safely.